Hey everyone, my name's Evan. I'm a senior sales engineer here at Supermetrics. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to move data from your marketing sources directly to an Azure storage container. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is sign into the Supermetrics team site with your Google or Microsoft account. The team site is where you can manage all things Supermetrics, including licenses, billing, and data transfers. For now, let's jump over to the integrations tab and find destinations. This is where we'll configure the destination that we'll be sending the data to. In this demo, I'm gonna be showing Azure Storage Containers. So I'm gonna click on Create New and then choose Azure Storage Containers from the dropdown. Once I've chosen the destination, I'll fill in this information. When I'm done, I can test the configuration and then save it. Now, depending on your business and data lake partitioning strategy, you may want to move your data to multiple different destinations. So once you're done configuring your first destination, you can create another one using the same process. Now that we have the destination configured, we can create a new transfer under the Transfers tab. I'm gonna click on Create New and then select Facebook Ads as my data source and click OK. From here, you'll see an unnamed new transfer and you'll want to choose the destination we just configured. This is also where you'll set your transfer schedule. Choose the schema you want to use and select the account from which you want to pull data. By the way, if you want to control the volume of data you're transferring or need specific metrics or dimensions that you aren't able to get in the standard schema, you can navigate over to the Query Manager and create a custom schema. When you're happy with all the settings, click Save. This will automatically start the transfer. When you're done setting up a new transfer, you'll see it under the Transfers tab. From there, you can easily create a backfill to get your historical data flowing into your Azure storage container. Once your transfers are ready, you can see all of the data you just moved represented as individual files in your Azure storage container. And that's it. That's how easy it is to move your data directly to an Azure storage container. If you want to take this for a spin using your own data, feel free to sign up for a 14-day trial today. That's it. My name's Evan. Thanks again for joining me.